Today we're gonna compare a shot when you lean on the ball and you fall on the ball versus a shot that you set up and you rotate. What are the pros and cons? What, ball, what shot should you use? First of all, I'd like to tell you that you can play both ways. It doesn't mean that one is right, the other one is wrong. Both of them have their benefits and they have their downside. So first of all, let's look at the option where you lean on the ball. For that, most of the time you take the ball on the rise, so the ball bounces, comes up, uh, most of the time you stand in a closed stance for that. You lean on your front leg and you just push the ball to the other side. So the key word is actually push because uh, if you take the ball on the rise, you have less time. That means you need a smaller backswing. You cannot swing through the ball. The second thing is that you really have to muscle your way through because the ball comes really fast and you have to make sure that you don't give anything and this is where the leaning on the ball helps because you kind of lean and you push it through which means you just use the speed of the ball you use the power of the ball that the opponent gave you and you kind of redirect it you don't give additional like you don't give a lot of additional power that you create yourself so it's it's good for counter punchers it's good for people that move really fast because you have to move up to the ball wherever it is to make sure you take it on the rise but the downside of this is, is that the ball that you hit, like the, what the produce, the power that you produce is always not your maximum power. So that means that you put your opponent under pressure, but only because you take away time from your opponent by taking the ball on the right. But if your opponent gets to the ball that you hit, they won't have that much trouble because the ball doesn't have as much pace, doesn't have as much spin. Most of these shots are they're flat because you, you can't give a lot of spin when you're leaning on the ball. And you can't use your upper body rotation either because if you're leaning forward, then all you can do is like rotate down and, and the ball won't just go over the net. When can you use that shot? Mainly if you're, if you're coming in, the ball is high and you kind of like, you, you just need to finish it off you use the advantage that you're inside the court that gives even less time for your opponent and that way you can finish it off because you don't have enough time to set up like if you set up and wait uh, there and the opponent just guesses the right side they might still get to your shot but if you're just leaning on it pushing it towards one side they might not have enough time just to recover from the other side however if you're playing on the baseline as I said earlier, these shots are not as effective because you don't take that much time away from your opponent because you're like you're hitting them behind the baseline. The distance is still pretty big. And the key thing is that you do not create much pace. So let's look at the other option. The other option is to actually hit with rotation and try to create your own power. For that, you need to step back. You need to step back and kind of take the ball more when it comes down to you. Like now I'm staying, I'm staying still pretty close uh, to hit that shot. I really have to move further back. And what is the benefit of this shot? First of all, the power that you can produce can be twice as much as you produce if you're leaning on the ball, which means that just by hitting that shot, the ball comes to the other side way faster than if you're playing it on the rise, but not hitting it as hard. So if the speed is twice as, hard or fast, that means that it's also much more difficult to deal with that shot when the opponent gets to it. If you're a big hitter, it's more beneficial to stay back and actually swing through your shot. You can create a lot more power like that. You can actually create power and not redirect it, which means you can put your opponent under pressure even from behind the baseline and standing really far behind the baseline. And that goes for all the shots. The downside is, is that you really have to set up and you really have to execute this shot in order to give that power. And if you have that opportunity at least once in a rally, most likely you will win that point. Because after that, you're in offense immediately and there's no way of coming back from defense of your opponent because they'll just give you a shorter ball and as I said then you come up to the shorter ball and you could either use your rotation again to finish it off or if it's high and you can just lean on it and hit it that way. On top of that if you do stay further back you have more time to actually 
set up for your shot and that means that you hit it with less risk. Whenever you're hitting the ball on the rise, as I said, you yourself have less time to prepare for the shot. The ball comes so fast that the chance of you making a mistake or mishitting it is pretty high. You have to have really good timing. You have to have really good like placement and feel in that regard. But if you stay further back, you can just allow yourself to set up, take your time, let the ball bounce, let it come up, and then swing full power. You can have a bigger swing, obviously, and you can hit harder. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon.